So Kelly, you saw a beautiful day in the neighborhood this week, this last week, mm -hmm. and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, I, um, as somebody who grew up with Mr. Rogers, it was a lovely reminder of what a lovely human being he was. I'm not sure there was really a deeper um, level of meaning to it for me, um, but it, it was kind of, what I took from the movie was, gee, Mr. Rogers was a stand-up guy, wasn't he? And it just reminded me that he was a stand-up guy. Um, and it actually, it was, it was a little sad to think, that, like, we don't have somebody like him, I feel like, in the public eye right now, just calling for kindness and that kind of thing. So it was, it was a nice reminder, I guess. And of, he did some pretty revolutionary things really on, on TV. I mean, yeah. I know I, I heard about him, uh, you know, sharing a, a pool, like putting his feet in the pool with the black mailman, and that yeah. was like yes. insane Shocked the to the time. nation, yeah, exactly. And he, he did quite a few things like that. And, um, and the film was, it, w it was a very lovely reminder of, you know, just a wonderful human life, I think. And um, it was a neat, um, the structure I found really interesting. It actually started like an episode of the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Um, which actually immediately I burst into tears <laughs> as, as a kid who like I, I grew up watching Mr. Rogers Neighborhood it was like I don't know it was like I was watching a new episode I mean imagine your favorite TV show like I said coming this, back yeah exactly um you know long after your the main character is dead um you know so it was lovely it actually started you know the trolleys coming around in the little make-believe land and everything it was really really neat the way it started um and he, he tom hanks walks in and starts singing it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood and i he, i was weeping <laughs> by two minutes into the movie um because it was just such a lovely like just blasted me back to my childhood. Um, and it actually felt very structured like an episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, but for grown-ups, kind of, um, which was very interesting. I thought the narrative structure was very interesting because it kept going back to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and he's in his house um, and, and, you know, talking about feelings so it was and Mr. Rogers neighborhood on the map. Yeah, scale. yeah, it was really neat. It was really neat. Um, and so I, I do think it was almost to me, it felt like they made a Mr. Rogers neighborhood for the kids who grew up with him who are grown ups now and are dealing with more complex problems. But it was a great reminder that like, all the skills you got from Mr. Rogers as a kid are still applicable, you know. Yeah, I mean, that does seem to be targeting the perfect demographic. Yeah, there was an interesting, just continuous, he kept bringing up, and, and I remember this and I think about it because I, I watch these episodes with my daughter now, um, but he, he keeps saying to the, to the main character, um, who's the journalist, um, you know, what do you do with the mad that you feel? Um, and I feel like, you know, and kind of, implying that what you do with the man that you feel is who you are. Um, and I, I liked that message a lot um, because it's something that, you know, when I watch it with my daughter, it means something else. It means, you know, she's three, she's learning how to be mad. She's learning how to, you know, deal with that kind of, those feelings. Right. Um, and it was interesting to think about it as an adult that like, what, you that know. can still apply. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, and thinking about it in, you know, everyday interactions, what do you do with the mad that you feel? But also I think it, to me, afterwards thinking about it is, what do, what do I do with the mad that I feel because of what's going on in the world right now? And that, that says a lot about a person is, what do you do with the mad that you feel? And so true, yeah. it was really, really, I liked that it was a lovely heartwarming i see why they released it around the holidays kind of movie um a little schmaltzy <laughs> at times yeah, it, it looked um, like that <laughs> you know um but but overall it was it was a lovely narrative i liked how they played with the narrative it wasn't just a movie about this journalist and how he became friends with mr rogers it was it was structured like an episode of Mr. Rogers, which I can't really explain more than just to say go see the movie and you'll see what i mean um um, so it was it was neat and I, I liked it and you know it brought up all the feels and Tom Hanks was wonderful as Mr. Rogers. Um, <laughs> by the end it was 
I, they, they melded in my mind. Like, you know, because <laughs> I'm also of the generation, I grew up with Tom Hanks being Woody in Toy Story 2. So, you know, it was like, um, you know, one of my childhood heroes melded with my other childhood hero to be one superhero. <laughs> Tom Hanks was Mr. Rogers, you know. Um, so that was, that was nice and sentimental and everything. But, um, you know, it, overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I'm glad I saw it. Um, it wasn't earth shattering. Like I said, it was kind of, gee, isn't Mr. Rogers a good guy? And I kind of already knew that. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think, it didn't seem like anyone was going in expecting it to be earth shattering. Right, anyway. right, right. And I think for me, it was just, it was a lovely, it was like a lovely two hours with Mr. Rogers again, you yeah. know, and that, that was, you know, there's some merit to a film like that anyway. Right, which makes it a perfect holiday film, mm -hmm. something that you can go see with your family yes. and nobody is left uh, yes. devastated or, yes. you know, yes. feeling any kind of yes. negative feelings, honestly. And that is, that is the beautiful part of the movie. It is PG, so it's a good holiday film, um, you know, for the whole family. And I mean, I guess unless you have real littles and then you can just watch a, another episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. But, um, but yeah, it was, it was really lovely and I really liked it. And it, it was a nice glimpse into Mr. Rogers as a human being because we know him as the TV personality. Um, but, you know, he was talking to children and so it was an interesting, you know, view into his life and how he also treated adults and, and really... Um, the, there's a line the journalist says, um, you know, what are you about? And, and he said, you know, I'm, I'm about making sure everyone knows that they are precious. And I just, that's, you know, that's a great holiday message, right? And that, that shines through the whole movie is just, you're special and you're precious. And that's exactly what Mr. Rogers was telling us all through our childhood. <laughs> um, and it's nice to be reminded of that as a grown up sometimes. I am special. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that, to me, that was the takeaway is just, um, yeah, it just, it felt like a nice, Mr. Rogers talking to the generations that grew up with him and reminding us that we're special and we're precious and, and, that the people we've become, you know, matter a lot. And yeah. so that was a nice holiday message. Treat yourselves like and everyone else as well as each other. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that was, it's, it's a nice message. It was a beautiful movie and yeah, I enjoyed it. Well, thank you so much, Kelly, for talking to us about Mr. Rogers. Absolutely. And thank you guys for watching.